Hi, I'm Ted with Taylor back with another video today. Now I'm making a, a video about one of my other special interests because as you know I have autism so I am making a video today about an interest that, that I've never talked about before on YouTube which is my fascination for POS systems and TIL systems because when I was a little boy and I first went into ASDA I saw that the keyboards on the ASDA TILs looked a bit like computer keyboards and I went on the computer from an early age so I started getting into TIL keyboards so then I, and it's getting into TIL systems and then I started looking at TILs when I went into shops for a long time and then I started playing with TILs and cash registers and getting real TILs for my birthdays and for Christmases so I started playing with them and then things died down for a little bit in the 2010s but then in in 2017, when I went to a special needs college, one of the staff there asked if I liked taking pictures of technology and got a picture of a screen in Argos for me. So then I realised it's possible to ask for pictures of till systems in shops, especially ones that I can't see, like in pubs and cafes. So I started collecting pictures and videos of them. So I'm going to share that interest with you today and maybe make a series. So we'll see how it goes. And in fact, I've got tills on my shirt today. So I'm going to talk about the till that started it all, which is Asda. Now, I think Asda's tills are quite interesting because even though it's 2024, they're still using the retro ones and they are in the process of changing them at some Asdas. But at some Asdas, they still have them. But also, let's talk about Asda's cafe tills because they used to have, before 2018, they used to have the old keyboard style ones like in the main shop they were slightly different with more buttons but they were similar but then in 2018 they changed to touch screen tills with like green layouts and things on them now unfortunately i didn't manage to get a picture of the old keyboard style ones before they changed which i wish i did but here's the touch screen ones and one thing i find interesting about them is the layout they, they look a bit more sort of modern and the interface looks a bit simple I like something a bit more messy and a bit more sort of retro or a bit 2000s-y. But let's take a look at this layout. So it's got the grey buttons along the bottom where you select the different menus. And then it's got loads of green buttons where with all the different options are. Now, when I first wanted to do this till it was in lockdown. But we, but we managed to, after lockdown ended, I went there. And when I saw that they changed the touch screens, I thought, oh no, this, yeah, this can't look good. They look modern and yeah, I was kind of right. They look a bit modern for my taste at all, a bit unusual, but hey-ho, I do like them and they've become a bit of a classic. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you, hope you find that interesting and I want to know, if, are there any other people with autism like me who... I always have a big fascination for till screens and please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think and thank you for watching.